Welcome back to another video. We're back in World Box. It seems to be a while since we played World Box, actually. I'm going to return to World Box and probably No Man's Sky. I've been playing far too much Star Citizen. I'm probably going to go insane for it, but not to worry because we're back in World Box, which is a nice, relaxing game. So let's go and blow some stuff up. Yeah. Oopsie daisy, just messed up the uh, map, which is just a random preset that I just uh, got and created right now because today. As fitting per the uh, nuclear explosions, we're going to be playing with some nuclear bombs. As today, we're going to be simulating a nuclear war between two islands. Now, right now, we've got one big island with a few puddles. So let's uh, how do I play this game again? It's been too long. Ocean, make it big. Anyway, so here's our very natural looking split between two islands. Where our nuclear war is going to happen, it's going to look a lot worse. Don't worry when the uh, nuclear explosions go off. Let's start our nuclear war now, shall we? Let's get some humans first. So, Oppenheimville, which uh, is definitely a reference to nuclear bombs. And then, Atomatown, which is also not a reference to atomic uh, weapons. Which We've got an atomic bomb here, which we will be playing with, I assure you. So, make sure you stay on the video. Although, we are going to have to wait for these lazy, lazy humans to uh, start making some babies so we can actually have some humans to fight other humans. We've got Kings though, like Guff F. He's only 18 and he's a king. Ta-da! I have made it look a lot nicer now. We've got these nice finishing trim, if you know what I mean. It's like water, but it's lighter and then it's darker. It's like a gradient. See, look at my fancy words. And in the meantime, Oppenheimerville, this town here, and Atomatown have grown, which is good. Uh, realm of the Vatop, let's change that. Actually, I've just put a uh, random hole there. We're going to be making holes later with our nuclear bombs. We don't need to start making them now. Hold our pride, let's call it. Pride holding. Okay, just because of their, like, caption. We'll just go off there. Guided by wisdom. Wisdom guide. So that's a guide to wisdom. And we're going to fire the first nuclear bomb or atomic bomb based off who's got what. So wisdom guide, 109 people. Only 82 people over here. Hmm, doesn't look too good. Let's see how developed they are with our cultures. Okay, weapon protection, sharp axes, house tier 1. Ooh, they've got the sword. Looks like they're far more developed and they've got more people. Might have to give the first nuclear bomb to... Well, not, let's not go straight to the Tsar bomb. To Oppenheimerville and Wisdom Guide. Let's go with the atomic bomb and we'll just put it randomly. I'm going to close my eyes. Of course, you can't see my eyes closed, but just imagine they're closed. Okay, I'll put it down. Whoa, I put it right in the middle of Atomatown. Atomatown is certainly atomic. I didn't mean to do that. I closed my eyes, remember. Now we will have to let Pride Holding develop a little bit more because that's a bit unfair, isn't it? If we just send them straight back into battle and they've not really developed much since. 99 people, they are kind of catching up, but they're not really. So we'll let them develop. There's so many towns. There's four towns belonging to Wisdom Guide and then Three, belonging to Pride Holding. This is something I haven't actually played with, the Infinity Coin. I said this would be a nuclear war, but let's just imagine. A strange monolith appears. Beef Dangus starts worshipping the monolith. And of course, because any who worship the great monolith becomes strong. So now Beef Dangus is strong, but also because he is the ultimate Beef Dangus. I'm going to give him like everything, everything, everything. Oh, he's not ugly. Have all the good things. Here's all of these now. Look at that. And he will blow up, I think, when he dies, which is quite cool. Got a lot of health. Beef Dangus has also got one other thing. A coin. Let me just find it. The Infinity Coin. There it is. I just wanted to play with this. Oh, where's it gone? Infinity Coin. Yeah, look at this. Perfectly balanced. 302 creatures removed. They are now evened out a little bit more, but not really. I feel like they're still quite in the lead, Wisdom Guide. They're developing pretty quickly. Just for the point of fairness, I think we should give our next atomic bomb to Pride Holding. So let's go and blow some stuff up. Yes, my favourite part of the video. Brrr, oopsies. That was a bit extreme, but this is a nuclear war simulation. So it's going to have to be a bit extreme and they're still kind of quite far in the head. Oh, well, not ahead, but like... They've still got a lot of people, and they were quite far ahead, so it's only fair that there is now toxic radioactive wasteland. Look at these radioactive um, trees. So, yeah, not toxic. Toxic's a different thing. Get your 
toxicity and radioactivity right around. And because this is the apocalypse, there is also a heat wave which like burns everything. So we're going to burn everything. Is it a heat wave? Heat ray. Well, actually, this is quite satisfying. Bit of a satisfying experiences in world box see this is why i like this game it's quite satisfying even though it's all just pixelated and not quite nuclear explosions in star citizen it's still quite satisfying to just drop a czar bomb and play with the heat ray i mean look at that it's like all kind of like going dark and kind of like the pixels are changing very satisfying oh they're going on fire now does that mean they're melting they're becoming lava. Oh, look how cool that is. Whoa. I'm just playing with this now. If we get the nuclear war, we're playing with this all day long. Look, if we hold it for long enough, it becomes lava. Look at that. That's so cool. We can melt the people. Come here. I'm going to melt you. Burn their houses down. <laughs> I feel so powerful. <laughs> Your houses have become lava. Now they're on fire. Look at that. <laughs> Uh, anyway, that's uh, quite enough. I've bullied that place. Whoa, whoa, Wisdom Guide recovered quickly. No, 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 no. Just have the old Zar bomb. There we go. Put right back in their place. Now back to the uh, lava machine, which is the heat ray. Zar bomb going straight on Oppenheimer Town, which I think I've just destroyed it. That was the Tomatown, Town, not Oppenheimer Town. Oppen Town, or whatever it was. Oppenheimer Town was destroyed ages ago. But Atoma Town has now just been destroyed. And it looks like it looks like the um the wisdom guide is taking over Pride Holdings like countries or whatever. The cities. Or at least trying to. Let's help out Wisdom Guide with our nuclear bomb. They've already taken out Toa, which is a lovely town in the radioactive desert. I don't know who I'm helping out at this point, but I mean there's only like twenty people left in Pride Holding, twenty nine. And then Wisdom Guide's got 172. The Monolith's still there though. Let's go. The Monolith is still here. Anyway, is this nuclear war almost over? I've got dinner to have. This is only the beginning. Ha 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 ha. As pr yeah, Pride Holding is uh, like destroyed now, I think. Beautiful, isn't it? I'm just I'm just uh, sending nuclear bombs everywhere. But yeah, I don't think I'm really kind of actually like playing the game anymore. I'm kind of just blowing stuff up anyway hope you enjoyed that video if you did make sure to subscribe if you want to see more nuclear bombs like this i'm pretty much finished blowing this whole map up yeah if you've enjoyed subscribe for more world box also like the video let me know that you want to see more world box and i'll certainly do more world box videos just like this one with more promise to be nuclear explosions because i'm pretty obsessed with these nuclear bombs world population zero we have successfully killed every human in the entire world hope you enjoyed if you did remember subscribe like thank you for watching and goodbye